What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about YubiKeys and a super, super easy to understand beginner guide for getting started. This isn't your normal, simply plug it in and use it as you usually do guide. This is from the absolute start. If you just opened a YubiKey, what exactly do you do with it next? But first of all, I'll go ahead and insert it. As it's not a full USB, if you have a USB-A YubiKey, you'll need to double check the way that you're plugging it into your USB ports in order for it to work properly. Otherwise, if you have a USB-C or any other kind, plug it into your PC and let's have a look at it. Of course, if you're on mobile, steps will be a little bit different. Though, when you plug it in, a whole lot of not much happens. But at this point, if you open up a browser and go across to a platform or website that supports YubiKeys, you'll see that they work pretty much as you'd hope. You're able to activate two-factor. You'll find a list of supported websites in the description down below if you'd like to learn about what supports U2F and YubiKey. Clicking on any of these here, for example, you'll see under the hardware token section an image of a YubiKey or simply a U2F key, and this means that it supports YubiKey and U2F, such as, say, Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. While you can use it with these services pretty much immediately, you may want to know that your YubiKey actually works. Well, it's really simple. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Yubico downloads page where we'll head across to the YubiKey manager. And while you're here, if you'd like, you can also download the YubiKey authenticator to generate two-factor codes as you would usually on your phone, for example. Downloading the YubiKey manager for Windows, that's what I'm on. I'll simply open the exe when it's done and click through the installer. Then simple as that, I'll get it to launch the YubiKey manager. And after inserting our YubiKey, you'll see it on the main page here. I'll blank out the Ethereum. Heading across to the Applications tab, as this is the Home tab, we can choose OTP, FIDO2, and PIV. The OTP tab, we can configure what different slots do, as in what happens when I press the button short or long, as well as FIDO2 and PIV. Then finally, the Interfaces tab over here, we can toggle what our YubiKey does, and whether we'd like to do it or not anymore. Say you can turn off OTP for NFC, etc. Simply click Save Interfaces when you're done, and it'll update your YubiKey configuration. Awesome. If I unplug it, and plug in a different YubiKey, for example, you'll see it pop up, and if it's a different version, you'll see that it lacks certain functionality, like the security key lacks OTP and PIV, but we still have FIDO2, and a few different interfaces here. This is the NFC-enabled model. For example, I'll plug in the one with OTP support and I'll download the YubiKey Authenticator as well using that same downloads page I mentioned earlier. I'll download for Windows directly rather than through the App Store, but if you prefer that, there's the option too. I'll click on it to open it up, click through the installer, and eventually when it's done, I can launch it up. And the YubiKey Authenticator looks like this. If you have a key plugged in, you'll see your accounts. However, if I unplug it and plug in a different one, for example, you'll see whatever you have saved there. It's super simple. You can add accounts to it, issuer, account name, security key, require touch, and advanced settings down here. Essentially, the security key over here, you can get by reading two-factor codes with any QR code to text program. For me, I use ShareX. I can right-click the ShareX icon, go to Tools, then QR Code, and I'm able to decode any image from my screen simply by drawing a box around it. For example, I've made up a nonsense one over here. I simply drew a box around a QR code using decode from screen, and this is what it gives back to me. OTP Auth, Google followed by, say, an email, secret equals, this is the secret that we'll be copying here, and we can ignore any more ands after it. So, for example, and issuer, Google, etc. I'll copy just the secret key, and that's what I'll be placing in here in the secret key section. Account name is just for whatever it'll pop up on the list as, an issuer, you can fill that in. Once again, it'll usually be included in the QR code as issuer equals followed by someone, though that's much less important than the secret key over here. For now, I won't be adding anything here. I'll show you what it's like to add this as authentication for, say, Google. Simply searching for Google two-factor, I'll click the first link, and it'll take me to safety.google slash authentication. I can head across to my Google account in the top right, head across to security on the left, and under two-step verification, I can click on it, enter my Google password, and after verifying my identity, I'm able to enter, say, security key, or scroll down and set it up, then I can add a security key, and as you can see, I get a Windows security pop-up here. I'll click OK, OK, and it says, touch my security key. So I'll simply reach over, touch the gold contact, and just like that, I'm able to give my security key a name. I'll call it, say, YubiKey1. After saving it, I'll click Next, 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 
and I can add another one, for example. So I'll unplug this one, plug in my backup, add security key, OK, OK, touch it. And just like that, I'll give it a name, say, YubiKey Backup. You can do this as many times as you want for as many YubiKeys and security keys as you'd like. Super simple. Of course, if you have a phone or say a Samsung Knox chip in it, you can also use these as YubiKey type devices that you can physically plug into your PC to lock into your accounts. It's that simple. Anyways, that's really about it for this super basic down to earth crash course. If you've just opened up yourself a YubiKey and you want to know what can you do with it. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.